Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what I wanted to go over was encapsulation of insulation up in the attic. All right. So if you have a R30 insulation barrier in your ceiling, you want to try to avoid penetrating that. That that makes a heating cooling system installed up in the attic not such a good idea. Um, not only for the insulation value of like say a R8 insulation going over a duct in the attic. But the other problem is what happens in heating mode, all right, um, you're heating maybe out of the heater that's up in the attic, or just say you had a boiler, you know, downstairs and you had radiators or something. So anyway, the heat comes up through your R30 insulation barrier, all right, and then it just goes right into your ductwork and radiates through your R8, right? Heat rises, right? So that's a problem, okay? So you want to avoid having the ductwork up in the attic at, at all costs. The other thing is if you have a leak in the ductwork, you know, what what are you going to do then? You know, you, you, your leak in the ductwork is actually leaking up inside your attic <clears throat> versus uh, in the conditioned area. If you had all your ductwork, say, up in the drop ceiling inside the house and everything was sheetrocked and sealed before you put the ductwork in and then you put it and then you drop the ceiling below that and then put your ducts in, then you have an air leak in your house if there was an air leak. Now you should not have any air leaks anyway because you're using duct mastic and uh, and sealing all that stuff you know really tight but I'm just saying I'm just throwing hypotheticals out there alright um, but uh, yeah you want to avoid uh, installing ductwork in the attic at, at all costs. Now just say you have an existing installa installation alright um, let's just talk about the insulation barrier for a sec here. So in this case right here alright you actually have R60 right now, all right? This attic has trusses, so there's no real choice for trying to do uh, insulation encapsulation, all right? Encapsulation means that you have so the, the building structure on um, all six sides. So say you have, you know, you have this, the joist here, and you have the other joist there. Underneath, you have the sheetrock, okay? All right, and then on the ends, where the uh, softening is, you have another um, two by, you know, stopping it, your rim board, and then you have another one on the other side, and then you have plywood on top. Well, you have no choice of putting plywood on top on this on this type of a, a house where you have trusses. So you have to just try to double up on the insulation, or try to put some type of uh, vapor barrier, but something that can breathe. All right. Um, in this case, the insulation was actually put in the attic the opposite direction okay in which it was before the original directions this way and so that the top R30 is put in this direction and then you can also double up on your insulation um, on the ductwork which if you see back there the installer put R8 over top of the existing R8 and then put the um, the R30 that's running this way on top of it and kinda like sealed it all up All right. Um, so that's something that you can do, but when given the choice and you have the option, say you have 2x12s up in the attic, it's actually better to put plywood down on top of that or some type of an insulation board on top of that, all right? And that encapsulate, and I tell you what, that really makes a big difference. Um, I would rather go that way than even adding insulation on top. You know, number one, I mean, obviously you have better storage um, up in the attic, um, but it really increases that what you might consider the R value you know up in the attic just by encapsulation because that heat is no longer touching the actual insulation it actually has to make its way through uh, the the wood in order to just get to the insulation and the more pockets of air you trap the better alright um, but I just wanted to throw these things out for you you know if you have the option of, of being able to encapsulate the the, uh, the insulation, it makes a, a big, big difference. All right. Um, even if you you're planning on not going up there and you're just putting Lawan down or something, you know, in order to encapsulate that insulation, that's great. You know, but this will work too. Just putting the insulation on top, um, the opposite direction. All right. Um, but once again, the more penetrations you have through that R30 or R60 coming up into the attic, you know, the worse off you're going to be. All right, so you would just want to think about these things uh, when you're doing alterations to your building site. So anything you can do um, is, a, is a benefit to, uh, to the building structure. 
So it's not always about changing uh, the size of the HVAC system. Sometimes you want to change the, the building structure a little bit. Um, and, you know, you get rebates for that too, potentially, depending on, uh, um, you know, your, your state and everything. But, all right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.